Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson, I will teach you how to add features like um, sign in, sign up, and log out. We're gonna use uh, JSON Web Token and also Cookie. Without wasting time, let's begin. So first of all, let's create um, a folder. Let's navigate inside. I'm gonna create um, a file name usermodo.js. Okay, and inside of it, we're gonna need uh, models because we're gonna create our models. Models, it's like the way you, I mean, you're gonna define um, the fields that will that your document will have. Okay, and now cons um, user schema. We will use mongoose. Okay, so new mongoose that schema like so. And we're gonna add um, first name. The type will be a string. Also trim true. I mean to remove space. Required true. Okay. So we're gonna we add an array. So we have required true so we can add custom message i mean for validation like first name is required and max length um, let's say 31 32 I mean. Okay, um, the second one will be last name. Let's fix um, the typo, 32. And here we will have um, email. Email is required. But we want this to be unique. Okay? Unique true. I mean, there can be um, true same email. And we want to match um, a certain pattern. I mean, if this is a valid email. Okay. And we need password. I mean the mean length, uh, let's say six characters. And we're gonna add a custom text for this. And um, for now, 
um, we're gonna add the wall the default will be zero but you can do it with um, this is number you can do it with string like um, the default wall is user for example and for admin you would add admin but here we will use number so it's up to you and after that we will have timestamp timestamp will create I mean uh, two other fields um, the created date and also the updated date which is really interesting and after that we need to we need to export so we will use uh, mongoose um, that model so we will have to give it a name this model will be the user model and after that we will have to pass the schema the user schema okay save no error um after this step um we would have to we will have to encrypt the password okay before saving the password in the database we need to encrypt it and we're gonna use bcrypt okay so this is to say um, user schema dot three i mean before you save the password okay So we are using async and then this next is to go to the next middleware I mean uh, after this phase go to the next phase now um, if the password is not modified okay if this is modified and we will receive the password the password field okay we, we want to um, do next but if the password is modified so we will use um, copy bcrypt gonna add this password equal await because we are using uh, um, async await okay await bcrypt to encrypt the password that hash also if you want to know more about bcrypt you can uh, check the documentation okay bcrypt um, this is npm package okay we're gonna hash the, the password this that password and the number will be 10 and save okay now we're gonna add the sign up controller so to realize that we have to bring um, the user model which will allow us to uh, realize this task So we're gonna import our our model from user model, and we will need uh, our custom error. Const error response require. So we're gonna bring it from dot dot I mean you choose and our response now first of all we're gonna deal with sign up um, request response next let's get rid of this
so here we're gonna uh, grab the email from the request body this is done with um, body parser so the all the data will come from request body okay this is the concept and uh, we're gonna check if uh, the user exists so we said await user this user with capital u is the model find one okay so find one uh, email so um, we then had uh, async because when we are using a wait we should um, add async okay so this is to say um, email colon email okay well the field email is equal to value that we're gonna receive but key value pair so we can leave it like so So when we sign up, if the user already exists, I mean, if this email is already exist um, in uh, our uh, database, so we're gonna show an error, and we will add the message email already already registered, and we will add uh, the status code bad request. If that is not the case, so we'll continue. Open try catch block and uh, cons user. We will use the user model, user that create, and we will receive uh, everything from um, request that body. Request that body will receive all the fields. And we will have response. res the status so you see res um, in parentheses in uh, sign up okay res that status uh, the status will be 201 and we will send to the front end success true and we will also send uh, the data the user data so that you can see um, that you the user is being created and next error if any error and save so as you can see we have an error so why because uh, in our route we don't have any more i mean sign in so we will fix that and uh, our what will be um, a post post request okay this is the what port slash api port slash sign up and save it should be okay so from now we're gonna test um, with postman from now we're gonna use postman and we'll create um So as you can see, we create uh, our endpoint in Job Portal API. So the first one will be um, sign up. This will be a post request body, and we will deal with JSON. And let's bring our Our fields so open calibrations and first name last name email password the same way that we have done in our model but we then add a uh, um, wall because by default wall is zero and let's send a request 
as you can see we have a successful response but we don't have the user so let's inspect our code so as you can see we are using a single weight so we add a typo we then add um, a weight user that create and save so it should be okay and we're gonna try to create another user send the request and as you can see we have our uh, data by default as you can see all is zero so without the need to put it in um, here in postman and now let's check uh, our mongodb database um, job portal api so refresh and we have users and as you can see we have two users in our database so we see collections in our in our document and now let's go back if we try to create another user so we have email already registered so we have the status code this is not the exact status code we need to fix that so in our error response this is the name that we gave code status and let's go to error uh, middleware as you can see we will change this to error that code status And we see, you see here, we have 500. We'll fix that. Send the request. As you can see, now we have the correct um, status code, bad request. Okay, now let's go for sign in controller. Get this, remove this in between, and add this. So we'll need to grab um, email and password from the request body. Okay, so we're gonna validate our um, fields. So now, if uh, we didn't receive, we don't receive any email from our request body we will say um, please add an email and this will be the, the status code and after that we will validate password if we don't receive any password anything from this field we're gonna say please add a password Let's add a comment. Um, validation. After that, let's check um, user email.
So if we don't find the user email, we will say invalid credentials. Now check, um, let's check the password. To do so, we're gonna see if the password match uh, the one that we have in our database. To do so, we're gonna um, have const is match equal um, user.compare. We don't have this um, method yet to compare password, but we will create it soon. Okay, await user because we are using a SQL rate. If the password doesn't match, so we will also have and I were like valid credentials, the same like um, email and save. So now in our model, we're gonna add the custom method to compare password. I mean, to check if the password match the one that we have in our database. So, we're gonna grab user schema and add the custom methods like so. This is to say we're gonna add our methods to um, our schema and we name it compare password equal async. And this will be the password that we will um, receive. So we're gonna return a wait bequit because we will use bequit to also compare a password that we have in uh, the database. Compare, I mean, we'll compare the two passwords, the one that we entered and the one that is saved in the database. And save. So let's fix the correct um, stats code. There should be a um, bad request for the last three. And uh, after these steps, we need to send the token. The token will receive three parameters, the user, the status code, which after all these steps, if everything good, we'll have our status code of 200. Okay. And uh, the response. So we need to create this uh, method. I mean, this function, if you want. Const send token equal async will receive the three parameter user code status. Okay. The same order and the response. We are using um, our function. Const token, we create a new variable name token, await user that get JWT token. Okay, 
to create our token but we don't have this uh, get jwt token yet we're gonna create it soon After that, uh, we will have uh, res that status. So we will pass the code status that we have in parameters. And also we will use cookie. Remember we use a cookie parser and we use it as middleware. Okay. The cookie will have a name. We will name it token and we will pass the code and the token that have been generated And the token, I mean, uh, the cookie should expire in one hour. Okay, HTTP only true. Um, this will be accessible on HTTP only. But if you are on production, you can add HTTPS only true, which means the cookie will be accessible only in HTTPS okay and we will send something to um, our front end um, that JSON success true and we will send the token and the user but I leave the token here but uh, I would remove it uh, in the um, not to send it in our front end just for security reason, but just to show you, you will see what is like um, the token. So um, let's go to the site. So as you can see, this is the site of JWT. So this is an example of a token generated. Okay, so we will come back after we sign it just to show you. And also, this is um, cookie parser. And as you can see, this is the way you use it, you use it as middleware. And we're gonna we extract our token from request that cookies. When we get there, you now understand. So we go back to our code editor. So we're gonna add another custom method to generate um, the the token. So for now we will have to bring JWT JSON Web Token. We're gonna add a custom method on it. We will name it um, JWT token. Equal function. And we will um, return JWT that sign ID colon this ID. I mean, this is our payload. Now, payload we pass only the ID, okay, of the currently logged user, okay. But you can add, I mean, more stuff on it, but I think it is more secure to add only ID. And also, we will have to add uh, the second parameter, or JW 
T secret, which is a random or random string process.env, the way to access it in the file, in the .env file, and also the expire. The token will be expired in uh, one hour. Please note that the cookie expiration and also the token expiration should be um, should be uh, the same. I mean, one hour, one hour for to for cookie, one hour for token, right? And uh, and now let's add uh, this JWT secret, which is a random string like so. and save now we seems like we have everything set up we're gonna create a new word to um, sign in let's duplicate This will be sign in. Already appear. And we choose it. Auto imported. Okay. And save. So now we're gonna add another wild in Postman. Let's create a no endpoint. I mean, I should say no endpoint in um, Postman. This will also um, a post request. Okay, the port is 9000, as you can see, and forward slash API, forward slash um, sign in, post request body wow and json so we're gonna copy um, email and password from sign up just to save time and uh, pay attention to the response and we're gonna send the request As you can see, you can ident identify clearly the token, okay, that has been generated, but also the cookie, okay. So the cookie is also available. But we will um, copy um, this token so that I can show you in the JWT site. And uh, let's remove this and paste our token. So as you can see, we have um, uh, the ID of the currently logged user, okay, in the payload. And we have the algorithm. And now let's go back to our code editor. We need to add logout feature in our backend API. So um, 
this um, will come from cookie parser okay where's that clear cookie and the name that we gave is token so we're gonna clear the token to log out uh, uh, the currently logged user and after that we will send a response to the front end where's that status 200 and we're gonna send success to true and we're gonna add a, a message logged out and save so after that um, we need to create uh, a new route This will be a get request and add it, add logout. And we'll bring logout from our controller, auto import it. And save. And now we're gonna add another endpoint in Postman. In our project, job portal API. So this time we'll have a get request and uh, forward slash API forward slash logout. Okay, body, wow, JSON. Let's send the request. And as you can see, a gout success. That's it, guys and girls. After the next lesson, we'll start with our front end with React. So if you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up. If you have questions, please use the comment section and uh, share it with your friends so that more people can watch our videos. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.